welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Take a seat here. Oh, how very kind of you to come to see me today. What's your name? Daniel. And how old are you, Daniel? Eight. Have you been a good boy this year? I think I have. Are you going to be a good boy from now to Christmas time? Yep. In that case, I can bring you some presents. Mm. But you have to make me two promises. The first promise is that on Christmas Eve, when you go to bed, you must try your very, very hardest to go to sleep as quickly as possible, because I can't bring you any presents until you're asleep. Mm. Your second promise is very important. Before you go to bed on Christmas Eve, You've got to make sure that your parents leave a mince pie or some cake and something to drink for me when I get to your house. Because by the time I get to your house, I should be quite hungry and quite thirsty. I also have some special food for the reindeer. How very kind of you. I was just going to mention that, but you've already been with you. Well, that's excellent. Well, because you've been so kind, I think that I shall make sure you get some very nice presents. Thank you. What present would you like the most this year? Harry Potter, A Monster Book of Monsters. Oh, that sounds very good. I think no one's asked me for that so far this year. <laughs> Have you got a chimney in your house? Yes. You do. That's good news. Some boys and girls don't have a chimney and I've got to yeah. use my magic key, but you do, so that's not so bad. That makes my job a lot easier, in mm -hmm. fact. But because you've been very good and you've come all this way in the snow to see me today, I think you deserve a reward. Thank you. In fact, I think you deserve two rewards. The first reward is very simple. I'm just going to give you some magic money. Well, it's not really magic money, but it's chocolate. So you can eat this on the way home. Some chocolate money for you there. Thank you. And then, if I look in my little bag here, well, I can find some presents. And I think you're quite a big boy, so there's a big present. Thank you. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> 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 Never seen so much money going through. <laughs> there we are. Now, because you've been a good boy, and I've given you those presents, well, that present there, you can open before Christmas. In fact, you can open that one today if you want, Thank and play you. with it later on. Your main presents I'm going to bring on Christmas Eve when I come to see you. Okay. You won't see me because you'll be fast asleep, yeah. but I'll see you. So I'm going to come to your house and leave your presents. Then I'm going to have something to eat and drink. And then just before I go, I'm going to put a magic spell on your house. And that will mean in the morning when you wake up, everybody in the house is going to be happy. And everybody in the house is going to have a very Merry Christmas, especially you, because you are very special. Thank you. But you must remember your three promises. Be good from now to Christmas time. Try to go to sleep as quickly as possible on Christmas Eve. And you need some special food. Exactly. Yeah. Well done. In that case, I will see you on Christmas Eve in a few days' time. In the meantime, though, when you do go out there today, be very careful of the ice and snow because I don't need to fall down and hurt yourself. Okay. And I will see you in a couple of three days' time when I come round to deliver your presents. Thank you. And thank you for coming to see me today. I will see you very soon, though, and you have a lovely Christmas. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Don't forget your notebook. Thanks very much, Father Christmas. Uh, thank you. Knows.